Well, good evening, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm bringing you Wednesday. As I promised, on free Wednesday, we're going to do a Wednesday household trick and tip and a DIY. So today, we're going to do gel scented scents. And they're the gels that, you know, you put in the bathroom that you buy from certain stores and you, um, to make your bathroom smell better or your house smell better. So, I'm going to put this in the microwave and then I'm going to give you everything that you need. I'm going to put this in the microwave because I don't want to put it on the stove because it will take longer. I've got two cups of water here. I'll let that boil. When that comes to boil, you don't have, and the thing is, you use unscented, uncolored gelatin, the gelatin, and it's unflavored gelatin. Okay, and then you use any kind of, any kind of jars, but I'm using these because I have a lot of these. These little jars right here. Get them all ready. They're already clean. This is the gel that you, like I said, you have a scent, you can scent it, and I'll scent it with the oils. I'm going to use peppermint oil for one and lavender oil for the other. And then, got my measurement spoon. So if you want to color them, then you add some food coloring. I don't feel like finding a food coloring. Well, I kind of know where it is. I just don't feel like getting it. So we're going to do it this way. Should be ready in a minute. How's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. Going to the doctor's tomorrow to get that little um, monitor on for seven days. But other than that, I'm good. So because of that, I think I told you, he can't fill my teeth until after they finish with all the hoopla. Ah. Not quite hard enough to me anyway. Cause if I can put my finger in it, it's not quite hard enough. So I won't dissolve the um the gel thing. Mm. So every Wednesday, I'm going to put up something that has to do with the house that you can make. That's a DIY. That's real easy. I mean, there's just so many tricks and stuff that you can do to you know for your house that you really don't ever have to go to the store. And by the way, over 50 and fantabulous. Where is it? What did I do with it? She wanted to see the finished product from. Did I put it up already? Oh, yeah, I did. Mm -mm -mm. This was the finished product from the soy sauce all for 50 and fantabulous. The bottle is marked. And it's in the bottle. Should be ready right about now. Let's see. Yeah, that looks ready. Right. Stick my finger in there. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, so we got two cups of water. Yeah, that's much better. Now, really simple. You go to the store and you pay for Glade, I think it is, $5.99 or something like that. You go to the dollar store, you pay a dollar. But you, if you have these things around your house, so you've got one tablespoon, two tablespoons go in here. They put one, two. So for each cup, you put a tablespoon. That wasn't quite it. 
the table's going to hurt a little bit more. So, but let me pull this down just a little bit so you can see it. because I my mother made everything so and I did make everything until I went to work and then I was working so much that I didn't have a chance to always do everything that I like to do so me being home is a lot of fun Make sure it's all melted in because you want to do your next step. And it will take a minute. One piece is not going in. I probably need, I'm going to put this in the microwave just for another minute or two. And then I'll melt it down real fast. Because, like I said, if you did it on a stove, it would take a little bit longer. I was going to need the, um, but I don't think I need it. Let me see if I can get all the little bumps out. I'm going to bring this. The shin, I dropped the shin one. Oh, the strainer. Excuse me. Old bones. So, actually, okay. So, that's that. Now, Add a little bit of salt to it. Just a little bit. You think I'd have this up at the time here with me, right? No! 
We'll just write it here, sir. That's good. So it asks for about a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt, but I'm going to put it in like this because I don't feel like measuring it. I don't think I, man, maybe I do. Okay, so salt's in, stir it up. Okay, so now. That's done. Let's put it in. Here's this one. Here's this one. Might look like I may have to get another one. Put it in almost to the top. Yeah, I might have to get a couple more. Get a couple more. I'm so sorry. But I guess it took in, took on bigger ones when I look at it. But, that's okay. Like I said, I got plenty of these. Let's get a couple more on them. Bit more. I'll put this on the stove. I'll find some for you. Okay, so I've got three. Now, again, if you want color in them, you can use a little bit of food coloring. Okay, so I gotta get four more cents. So let's see. I'm gonna throw a full of them. Got lemongrass, and I got one more tea tree. Cedarwood. I've got a whole bunch on the other side too, but the side of yeah, the cedarwood will do. Only because I have to go to the other side, pull the drawer out, the drawers out, the little drawers out, and I have them all. I sat here one night and glued them all together so that they wouldn't be falling, so that I could work when I want to work downstairs. Okay, so now that that's done, just put the lemongrass in first. So there's 10 drops of that in there. Take this handle and swish it around. And this is that's one. Two. 
tarp on it. And it'll dry like that. Now these make beautiful, beautiful gifts for Christmas, for, for birthdays, for just just a gift just to be given somebody a gift. I should have right that. I was going to do two, but you know, hey, three more never hurt me. So the thing about this is that um. So you come home to work and you're really tired and you know you got a birthday party to go to and you know that you have to give the friend the birthday present. What better way to give a present? I'm sure you got some beautiful glasses around somewhere. You can make this in about 10 minutes. Put it aside. Let it dry. This is cedar wood. I don't necessarily... I know I put more than 10 in it, but that's okay. I don't necessarily like cedar wood, but... It does have a good smell, and this is like more for the winter time. Throw this in the drawer, and the trash is right next to me. Put the top on. I'm going to have a cookbook. It's going to be um. It should be ready in about three weeks. And I'm going to have it on Amazon. And it'll be house cooking, cooking secrets and DIY secrets for the home. Okay, this one right here. Peppermint. Ten. Ten drops is all you need. Because these are definitely well, and see this is starting to drip if I can't show it to you actually but starting to mix it in. The reason why you don't want to mix it in while you're cooking well while it's cooking is because you want the, the gel and everything to just separate. You don't it, it just I don't know, it's, it does something funny to it. Be in with me a minute because you know. There's the other one. And then this last one is lavender. I have four scented ones and you'll have to wait to, to see them because they have to dry overnight but I will always come back and show you like now usually on this you know what we're doing I'll show you so here you have it I've got lavender peppermint cedar wood and lemongrass put that in the bathroom or in the room of your choice okay and you don't have to worry about you can put a little bit more oil if you want into it. And you're done. And you can do that while you're watching television. 
So you've made some for your friends and you've made some for you. And the gelatin goes a long way. You can get if you go to the farmers market, you can actually get the unflavored gelatin. Gelatin and for this one I paid 351, but it was almost full. I think it was. Tell you what it says. It had, I think this was three pounds. I think it was three pounds. So and it's and it tells you the directions on it if you're going to the farmer's market. But I also have regular gelatin that I buy because I do a lot of stuff. Anyway, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I will talk to you later. I love you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.